Hi, this is Jack Butler, and this video is about how to follow your intuition. Now, before we get into the how, let's talk just briefly about why is it important to follow your intuition? What is your intuition telling you? Well, your intuition is often like your higher guidance system. Your intuition often has a sense of what's a good idea, and what's not a good idea, where is life conspiring to take you, what doors are opening, what paths are closing, where are you safe, where are you not safe. And your intuition is almost like, it's like a language of the universe that's, that's different than the rational mind. It's like a, an intuitive hit that you sometimes get or a download in the shower or just kind of like a, a kind of a gut instinct or feeling about something. And most of the time our culture doesn't encourage us to really listen to this, right? We're taught, we're taught to think things through, make practical and logical decisions and know the consequences of our decisions. And of course, all those things are important. But your intuition often has a better way of knowing what, what, what is really here for you in life. Like what does life want for you? Like if you weren't just in control of your life, what does life want for you? Where is life pulling you, conspiring for you, having your back, cheerleading you? And your intuition is the way to access those things. Now, how do you follow your intuition? Well, to answer that, let's look at, well, what's happening when you're not following your intuition? Most of us, most of the time, we're gonna be stuck in here, right? We're gonna be stuck in our heads. And some of the, con the, some of the contours of the, uh, like the lower mind or the stuck mind are uh, doubt, fear, um, over planning, overly analyzing, kind of overthinking things. And I'm sure you'll get a sense of the quality of what happens when you overthink things, right? You kind of get tired, you kind of get anxious, you kind of get preoccupied, you're kind of struggling, wrestling, analyzing. And oftentimes, you're not actually listening to the deeper part of you that already knows something, right? Quite often our intuition has things to say and we may not even like it because our, our kind of rational mind or our fear-based mind doesn't want to be with the consequences of what our intuition is, is bringing to us. But once you start to let go of, of that fear, once you start to let go of the need to know how things are going to unfold, then your intuition can start to flourish more in your life.